Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. The Lions had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Ferocious is making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. The Lions able to land a good, solid left hand. Come on, baby, use your feet. Good way to protect the midsection. And there's that overhand right. The Lions showing you a little defensive skill there. I will move away from that punch. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Ferocious is able to avoid that punch. Halfway through this round. Defense just covering up down low. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Ferocious is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. He's got confidence he can crack, and he just did there. And he had the distance, Joe, the height that he wanted to set up that punch. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Targeting a left hand to the body. Final 10 seconds of round number one. End of round one. 
Listen. Ferocious is putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test them, when you push them up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. Well-targeted right hand by Ferocious. Lions basically giving you the impression that he's a little tentative to throw punches based on what happened earlier when he got hurt. Yeah, he's got to find a way now to not give up the offense that he had earlier. He wants to go into a defensive mode a little bit, but if he gives up that offense, he'll fall too far behind and get to that no man's land where he'll need a knockout to win, and he doesn't have that kind of power. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Halfway through round number two. That'll get the fans out of their seats. What a shot by the Lion. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Nice one. Lions left, landing well. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. The Lions' movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. <laughs> Final 10 seconds. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Joe and Teddy with you right. here in between this rounds, right. a round in which, boy, he really just You're dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational it. ending for him pumping. when he gets keep off the stool here. Well, ball. he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. And round number three is underway. Keep working the body. Trying to take away the wheels, going to the body with the double jab. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Take it to it. Let's go. Back to the body. Back to the body. <clears throat> Come on, punch, punch, He clinches punch. when he gets to the inside. Focus, focus. And now he's 
scores well with a straight right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Ferocious his inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse, right now he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. How about that? Blocks away that headshot. Ferocious is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Blocks that belt line well. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. We count down the final moments of this round. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Listen, you need to get your punches up. Throw more punches to the body. Punches to the body. Step out for the jab. Then come back and throw more punches to the body. Left, right, left, right, left, right. You need to double up your punches. You got to bring it to him, kid. We're not winning this fight right now. Now let's turn this thing around in this round. Get close to him. Hook to the body. An uppercut. It's there for you, all right? Let's see it. The Lions pitching a shutout right now on Teddy's scorecard. First three rounds all going on his side of the ledger. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that? A credit to his ability to anticipate? Ferocious is stunned, and he is hurt. He is in a real, real bad spot right now. Maybe a punch or two, and he could be on the deck. Oh, boy, he's got to get right to the inside, just go bear hug this guy. Either that, Joe, or maybe as big a long shot as this might be, his opponent now is coming in there not worrying about him at all. And he's leaving himself a little bit open. Maybe he can land the bomb. He can land the lucky shot. You're doing great. Not much action as he just ties up. with that headshot. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Able to cover up that gut. Targeting that belt line with the right hand.
There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Ferocious has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Focus. Focus. Get him to the punch. The lion's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Ten clicks of the top. Ferocious is corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find change on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. Take a deep breath. Relax. Relax. You're doing well. You just need to. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now, he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Nice! Move! You're not focusing! Now he missed that right. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Right to the head with that right. Come on, Come on kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. There you go. Looking good. Look good. Halfway into round number five here. Ferocious is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Come on, kid, focus. Locks that punch. The Lions making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Uppercut! Uppercut is wide open! Uppercut, baby, come on! Dead body! You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Pop the jab! Use the jab! Use the jab! Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. You gotta stand your ground, champ. Come on, now. 
You gotta take it to him with some big shots without going over the top. I keep telling you to take it to the body first. Even a left hook. The start of the sixth round. Ferocious is opening up this round with a lot of momentum. Now, down on your scorecard, but he clearly won the last round and carries that into this round. Well, look, the old-time trainers, my trainer, Customato, used to always say there's no such thing as a one-round championship fight. You know, you got to do it. You do it to be the top guy round after round for a lot of rounds together. Well, that's what it's about right now. Yeah, he had a couple bad rounds, but now he has a chance to be back in his fight and show that his worth is down the stretch. Gets rid of that effort. Good. Good. Ferocious is looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. Halfway through round six. Left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. I want to see some combo. He just missed that shot up top. Blocked there by Ferocious. The Lions' punch is far off the target. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not fighting nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. a lot out of him that round. There you go. Keep that up. You have to double the jab, all right? Look, he's timing you. Every time you come in, I want to see... So we've reached the halfway point of this main event. up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Focus! Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. You see him holding on.
ferocious is missing punches here. Now, the good news is he's throwing punches, but Teddy needs to be more accurate. Well, can I give you the bad news? Please. He's throwing them to the wrong place. He's throwing them upstairs. He should throw them downstairs. This guy's moving his head. You go downstairs, you take away that head movement. Come on, then punch, you find them upstairs. Punch, that's it. Nice flush left hand. Wow, stunned moments ago. Solid. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Nice. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. Doing good. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. The Lions doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. Okay, deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. We got it. Are you all right? You need to just keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working at you. Round number eight, let's look at Teddy's scorecard. This is exactly what we thought it would be. It is decisively in one man's favor. However, that one man, that fighter that we've been seeing working hard all night, he's starting to tire. Yeah, and the lack of power is starting to show. And what I mean by that is... If he could pop a little bit, you know, he wouldn't have had to throw so many punches to get the respect, keep his opponent in his place. But he has to work awful hard to get these rounds. And you're starting to see the wear and tear of that. Unable to connect by Ferocious. Ferocious is going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're standing opposite him, what's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but you don't want to walk into a trap either. You want to kind of size him up a little bit. You want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in your mind that he might be trying to con you. You know you hurt him, so put that pressure on, but do it smart. The halfway point of round number eight. Keep working the body.
Nice block by Ferocious. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Back to the body. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. And round eight comes to an end. The Lions in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. That was good. <laughs> Well, early on in this round, you can just tell that he's rejuvenated. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. And he just holds on there. You're still not moving enough. Come on, now move. Move. Back to the body. Back to the body. You could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Keep doing what you're doing. Relax. Come on. Halfway relax. through the ninth round. There you go. There you go. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. Yeah. Great movement to get away from those punches. Come on. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. There is hardly a doubt as to what this result will be. I know anything can happen, but all that's happened all night long is one guy punishing the other. Well, it looks like Kobe Bryant on a good night when that basket is 20 feet big. I mean, he just can't miss. You gotta land a big punch now, champ. No doubt about it. You're losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot and knock this guy out. All right, listen. You need to create more. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Move! 
nice block by Ferocious. The Lions well off the mark that time. Straight right, unable to connect. Get your hands up. Halfway through round 10. Ferocious is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Keep it going. Oh, and a big right hand lands. Well, that's the clap. Big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? He scores the knockout here tonight. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch, can a guy defend, you know, can a guy control distance, but you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.